comment on him a little bit more knowledgeably because the strategy is definitely going to change his first three in a row women's games denmark against germany both rings are two and three the united states against austria maybar gemmel of houston one and four Sadl Kodelka of kitzbühel zero and five our featured game here at the winnipeg arena switzerland against canada 9 30. it's normal Normal weight. This is a bit of a rematch of sorts, uh, Linda, because Janet Hurlivan was a Ontario junior champion and she played Julie Sutton in the 1987 Pepsi Juniors. Lost to the United States and Austria women's game. The final stone belongs to the Straddle Kodelka rink of Kitzbühel, Veronica Huber. And this is Maymar Gemma of uh, Houston, Texas. With her stone, won't be enough. Austria will steal one. Denmark and Germany. Second or third, it's kind of interesting. Do you want me to give you more ice? It's really sticky tonight. It's really funny. You can tell on the hack, like you, there's no pebbles over the hack here. I'll just a normal try to roll in front of their other one here. Germany and the United States. This is actually Austria and the United States in women's play. The final stone for the skip Maymar Gemmel of Houston, and she'll score three. And it's three to one, U.S. over Austria as they go to the third. Going there anywhere? It's impossible. She threw a bomb. She threw a twelve. I'm gonna throw it up. Up, wait. The last stone for Canada, Julie Sutton. Four two. Women's game, USA and Austria. The Houston rank picks up two in number four, leads five one. And in our game, it's a steal of one. We can either play this one or we can come in. Go one no. little rabbit. Win some and lose some. The mascot. Or the <laughs> U.S. women's team in control, 5-2 over Austria, and in our game, it is now 6 Switzerland is going to the 6th. And Ray, you want to make a point? One thing of the things that happens on ice like this, ice surfaces like this, is that uh, rocks that make contact with other rocks don't go anywhere, Linda. They just, you know, it's here? getting heavier or flatter, and when you what make contact, here? you can see that rocks are just dead, so it really becomes difficult to, you know, to get any action on the stones. Uh, Doubles become very difficult. Uh, hit and rolls become difficult for that very reason. And even more of a problem if you are a team like Switzerland, teams who not have a lot of weight, throw a lot. No, they don't. Uh, they played a lot of very fast ice in Europe. Linda's has mentioned that before, and the number of times I've been over there, you, you know, you're talking 25, 26 second ice, which is just unbelievable. You know. Yeah, look at this one. Was, no action at all, you know? So it was take away, yeah. they saw it, and it didn't uh, push it through. Good job.
three of the games are complete in this 11th round. Interestingly, the other game still in play is right beside our feature game in this 11th round, and that is the USA and Austria in women's competition. But keep our eye on that one as well. So the scrim is right on the edge of the rock situation. Here in the 11th round of the Canada Safeway World Curling Championships. Update for you. This is the game between Austria and the United States right next door. Final stone for Veronica Huber throwing skip stones for this Troutwell Fidelka rink from Kitzbühel. The hit for three, and boy, oh boy, look at this. It is now a game here as Austria pulls it within one, the U.S., so we'll have last rock when they play ten. Two games. Now we'll go to the only game remaining in this 11th round of these world championships, the USA and Austria. And look at this. Oh. The U.S. leading by one. They do have last rock. This is the first stone for the U.S. skip, Neymar Gemmel of Houston. And the Austrians are lying one. The back of the forefoot. And they are still lying one at the back of the forefoot. The U.S. with a record of one and four. The Austrians at zero and five coming into this 11th round. Well, I don't know what she's thinking about here. She went over to look at the red rock. She, all she has to do is tap her, uh, the stone sitting on the center line, just tap it back a foot and a half, and uh, she's lying two. And uh, if the American, uh, Neymar, doesn't make the draw, uh, could... we hear the fans trying to tell her what shot to play. <laughs> Amazing, you're right. And it's a shot. Listen to that. I mean, there's a crowd here. The curling fans in Winnipeg, so knowledgeable. <laughs> they, well, they, they, you they didn't have it. to be knowledgeable to know that. Well, but I mean, <laughs> yeah. Well, they're saying, come on, Veronica Hubert, that's the shot to play. Play the raise. Veronica Hubert throws the uh, skip stones for the Austrian rink from Kitzbühel. Uh, it goes under the name of Throttle Fidelka who throws the third stone. Oh no. Now they wanted to really... If the ice is anything like the other one on the other sheet. Is she up the way here? Oh, she did, eh? Maybe, you know, the other thing is too, maybe the crowd too may have affected her a little bit. I guess, maybe, Vic. <laughs> I guess so. I don't know. She has hit that rock on the, just a little bit on the outside even and pushed it into the eight foot, so she's lying too. This would this draw would be a lot more difficult for Do you Neymar. think she was playing the razor or the draw? I don't know. No, I think she was playing the razor. And just threw it outside. Just, well, either that or just a nice one. We haven't been watching this sheet, so I don't know. So this will be the final stone of this. 10th end for the U.S. Neymar Gemmel, the 1990 Canadian Women's Senior Champion, along with the Rinkin, playing along in the Rinkin of Jill Greenwood. Good concentration. She just threw down there, so... Now she needs full form, huh? She leads by one, but shot stone belongs to the Austrians, so she needs full four to end this game. She needs full four. She needs a good piece of the four, and she's going to come up light. It just did a curl for her. She kind of had no handle on it, and as a result, it just didn't curl. It stayed out on the heavier part a little bit. It's a steal of one for Austria. And so the U.S. and Austria will go to an extra end, and we'll be back for it when we return to Winnipeg. Uh, yeah, it was. The ice was uh, maybe melting down a little bit, and um, a draw, any draw that you threw was, you'd have to throw it about two seconds faster or harder than we did uh, in this morning. And even on takeouts, you know, we were barely pushing them through the house, and with Melissa being, you know, a little bit sick, she was having a hard time even making a simple takeout. 
Yeah, in the fourth end, for example, you got one in, and then with your other one, it came up a little short. Yeah, I was trying to throw them really hard, um, but they just wouldn't go in for me. And, you know, the ice was a little bit patchy. We'd climb one at 12 and a half, and the next one would be, you know, be hogged, so it was really hard to get draw weight today. Have a little bit of a reaction here. We wish you the best of luck with it. Thanks, Linda. Back to you, Vic. Thanks very much, Linda. In fact, that game will be against the United States, and we're watching the U.S. now skip by Maymar Gemmel of Houston in an 8-8 tie with Austria as they gave up a steal of one to the Austrians in the 10th to force this extra end, so the U.S. with last rock. What's well, nice to have another extra end, Vic. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't done enough television no. today. You've been watching this now uh, during yeah. the interview. Is the ice anything similar to the uh, it what doesn't we were look, watching? It doesn't look as uh, soft as uh, the sheet we, we covered, for sure. This seemed to be sliding okay, and we saw Maymar throw uh, her first one through the last end, and then I think if she had uh, had a little more turn on her last stone and kept it a little closer to the center, it would have been okay. It just seemed to almost change turn at the end. This stone into the back of the forefoot, the first stone for the Austrian second, Anna Egger. And they wanted it out front and slipped into the rings, allowing uh, Neymar to be able to play in the ring. She'll hit this, of course, and try and keep the house clean. The U.S. second is Judith Johnston. They've done a little bit of a roster shuffle here. The U.S. they've been using all five of their players after getting off to the bad start. Makes the take out of the back of the four. Let's go back to Linda now with uh, Sister Jody Sutton. Jody, you came with a very good performance. We were mentioning it was a good time to do it with Melissa not feeling as well. Yes, I think I curled quite well tonight, and it was good to finally have a really good game, and uh, I hope Melissa's feeling a little bit better. I guess she was a little bit tired because she hasn't been eating much, and hopefully she'll get her strength back and be out here tomorrow. You made a few really good shots, those run-throughs where you hit the guard onto the one in the house and ended up leaving your team sitting. We'll have a look at one right here. I think it's the fifth end. Oh, yeah, that was, that was pretty exciting. Um, I'm not sure if that was the first one I threw, but Julie was calling it all the way, and I threw it quite well, and I think we knew we had it all the way. Yep, I think this is the one. Yeah. Yeah, and it was a pretty good shot. Julie should have slipped that roll a little bit more, though. <laughs> That's it. Get this yeah. kip in there. <laughs> well, you're, you're doing very well, obviously, with the undefeated record, and you just have the one game tomorrow, I think it's against yeah. the United States. United States. Any thoughts on that? Um, I think we'll just come out here and just play our normal takeout game and, and just try and keep it fairly wide open. Okay, well, best of luck. Thanks, Linda. Back to you, Vic. Thank you, Linda, and congratulations to... Jody and the entire Canadian team for their 8-6 win over Switzerland to remain undefeated with six straight wins. But there's Second. nothing in play here, and Amar has chosen to uh, draw a rock into the rings as opposed to maybe throwing it through, Vic. This rock happens to step behind the T-line, for example. It can work against you. you see, with last rock now, that rock sliding behind the T line. The Aus Austrians throw up another center line guard, and if the, you run them all off, the last thing she can do, of course, is freeze to it. So you're almost better to throw that rock right through. Fidelka. Her previous experience in World Championship play was 1983. Throwing third stones, as we say, Veronica Huber throws the final rocks for this Austrian rink that is has yet to win here. Zero and five, and the U.S. with only one win, one and four.
see what they could have done with that jet. They could have left it out in front. Yeah. Uh, it would have been just as uh, valuable to them out in front of the ring. I get the feeling that the uh, crowd here would like to see everybody win a game. Yeah. They're uh, going to be pulling for the Austrians against the U.S. Third stones for the U.S. is Susan Anchevitz. I think it's pronounced Anchevitz, actually. Okay, thank yeah. you. No problem. I know Susan. I, I uh, she held a swimming clinic for me in Colorado. Two of them. So, uh, and she curls out of Denver, as you suggest. Right. She on. was asked to be the fifth of this. Exactly. Group. Yeah. Yeah. She's doing the play down. Yeah. ladies are from Canada originally. Neymar Gemmel is from Toronto and Judith Johnston is from Princeton, BC. Janet Hunter, who is not playing, is from Milton, Ontario. And the, the lead, Brenda Jancic, is from Calgary originally. The only Native American is Susan, Susan Ansich from Washington originally. the opportunities well no because the, the rock is the dead rock if it's a foot over the hard line so you're talking you know about missing it on the wrong side completely what you could actually do in this situation is run your own stone out you know hit your own stone and get it out of the ring third here in this extra end tied eight okay, at this, at this point on. they should rush it right through the ring uh, she, she would have really been a lot better to just to hit the hit that back stone hit her own stone and get it out of the ring so. still allows uh, Austria a chance to come down to it what I would be doing though is playing the center guard still out in front of the ring. 32-year-old Veronica Huber throws the stone for this ring from Kitzbühel. She was playing the freeze to it, but uh, I think the right shot in that situation is to have played a rock on the center line just in front of the ring. Even if she makes the freeze, the Neymar is going to have a, uh, the open draw to the fourth quarter, you know, the full eight foot to win, because these rocks are behind the sea line. So. Yep. I think 
she's gonna she's trying to play it right here I think she'd be better off to take the stone and move it over into this area right about here just like so Ran, tied 8-8, eight, eight, and this will be the final stone for Austria. Veronica Hubert, the U.S. with last rock. It's kind of overlapped the back one a little bit. Just to catch cover about a corner of it, be in the eight foot out in front of the off, off the center line. The United States led eight to four after eight in, gave up three and nine, and a steal of one and ten force it here to this extra hand. Veronica Huber hustling now to catch up. It's going to be a team effort to get this stone into the top of the eight. Whoa! It swept it far too much. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, she's not going to hit this, is she? she just, I guess she doesn't know where to draw a weight stick because just draw down to it is all you have to do follow it down take the same ice follow it down looks to me with the ice she's going to play the hit on it put it on the nose i guess she feels more comfortable with the hit she can she uh will her shooter hang around here you think or well it's got it i know it's, it's got to, but that's what i'm saying is that because the way the stones are lined up so. well she hits it on the nose she, she wins the game there's no question about that if she hits it anywhere on the outside she will not because her shooter will roll across the ring and the Yellowstone will be driven back onto the back one and she'll lose it. That's why I say the safer of the shot is just to come down to it. Just to draw down, she's throwing big weight. All right, the final stone, Neymar, Gemmo, Houston. Did you throw it out? I'm gonna hit it on the wrong side. Out. I'm gonna hit it on the wrong side, I think. Oh, will it roll too far? It will! steal their first win here in Winnipeg. Nine-eight, the final score. So the Austrian.